Hi, my channel's name is Estemi Karek. So here I record about issues, about political uh, topics. Not political, not political at all. I'm just, I just wanted to ask you about Indian society. What is your take on Indian society? And the problem when people are growing up in India, they really have to study and study too hard just to, in order to get married to someone else. And the work is not right. When a girl studies, she um, loses all her certificates because of the waste of time she marries and has babies. So there's something wrong there. How our education system is building up and how we grow up to just... Uh, oh, it's a school in, in the fourth class four. But I learned everything when I left school and because of my parents. I went to night college. I, I, I'm not a graduate of anything, but I can talk to anyone. Yeah, it's all in the mind, and it's who you mix with, the people, the company you speak, you speak to. That's the main thing. Yeah. Indian society के बारे में हम आपसे पूछना चाहते हैं कि जैसे हम बचपन में हमें बताया जाता है कि ऐसे कि कोई इंजीनियर का बेटा इंजीनियर ही बनेगा, डॉक्टर का बेटा डॉक्टर बनेगा. सब कोशिश होना चाहिए कि मतलब मान लीजिए अगर हमको जैसे कोई और कुछ बनने का इरादा हमको है आप मान लीजिए मेरा इंजीनियरिंग नहीं मन कर रहा बनने का ड्रीम है आपका आपका कोई सपना है जिंदगी में कोई सपना है मेरा भाई मेरे सपना क्या बताइए ये लिखे ढो रहे हैं सपना और क्या सपना बताया मेरा भाई हालात ऐसा कुछ आ गया कि पढ़ाई लिखाई कर नहीं सके हम बासवी का काम अपना उठ सकते लेकिन इतना जानते थे कि बासवी मुझे बचपन से ही शौक खाली पैंतालीस रुपया फोर्टी फाइव आज करीब नहीं आठ दस साल पहले की बात बता रहा हूँ एक नियम कानून जो है हमारा वो दूसरे लोगों को बढ़ावा नहीं देता है जिन लोगों को एक्टर बनना है सिंगर बनना है म्यूजिशियन बनना है या किसी को गिटार बजाना है या बांसुरी बजाना है उन लोगों को बढ़ावा नहीं मिलता है क्या आपको लगता है इंडियन सोसाइटी को कुछ बोलना चाहिए नहीं बड़ी बड़ी ऐसी बात नहीं है भगवान की कृपा से बहुत आदमी आते हैं बहुत आदमी आते हैं नंबर लेते हुए चले जाते हैं लेकिन कभी बुलाने का मौका नहीं मिलता जो बात But if we talk about economy, then India is actually diving into a lot of things that are happening regarding our air hearts and our CAB. So what are your takes on CAB? Are you, are you against it? Of course I'm against it. Against it? Yes. Do you feel that the immigration world has come to India since the last six years? Yes, because it is supposed to be a secular country and the people like the, you know, the political people, like they are supposed to follow the constitution. And they are supposed to make this a secular state, but then they are excluding the Muslim people, and they they, they want India to be just a place for Hindus. That is all. And then the police are taking you know all these violent actions. That is completely unjust. Am I audible? Am I visible? Am I following the YouTube norms and regulations? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aesthetically Correct and my name is Divyang Shah. Today we are going to talk about something that most of us keep on avoiding. <clears throat> Indian society. Indian society. I mean, following YouTube's norms and regulations are fine with me because they are given online. But do you know, Indian society has a norm and rule of regulations for everything in life. If you're watching my video for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So guys, watch this video till the end to open your horizons about Indian society and our culture. Our Indian society has a norm for everything. Whether you're in college, studying in school, getting married or not, don't worry, they have a rule book for everything. They want your life to be dictated by their rules and regulations, by their cultural beliefs which was set 500 or 600 years ago, which was set in an era where there was no computer or mobile phones in which you're watching this video right now. So here are few conversations that we need to turn around as an Indian or as a human being at least. As a resident of India, I can say one thing for sure that a lot of us are grown up in peer pressure, a lot of set patterns and boundaries, which we think that if we break them, might cause us some trouble, might cause us some trouble which the pundits might have uh, suggested us when we were younger or when we were growing up, we start consulting astrologers whether we, our life is not going in the right path or whether it's, it's, it's going haywire because of certain reasons, you know. They call the nakshatras, the stars are not working for you, the stars are not aligned for you. 
I don't believe that. These are my personal observations. These are first conversation that we need to turn around as an Indian is the caste system. The caste system and the religion of our country is making us handicapped to one another. We are losing our kindness because we feel that the religion that we are in, whatever religious beliefs, guys, you might be following, whether it's Hinduism, whether it's Islam, whether it's Christianity, Sikh, Parsi, whatever you are, as a whatever religious beliefs that you follow right now, um, should not definitely hold you back interacting with other people. You know, there's a lot going on in the country. Caste system and religion was created by people back in the days. You know, what does the Oxford Dictionary say about religion? Religion is a way of lifestyle. You know, I'm not an expert about First, we are human beings. Then we are of a different caste or a, or a religion. You should understand one thing that we are Indians. But in India, the the most diversified country, the most democratic and secular country has lost its way. Maybe the government is responsible for it, responsible for making the minorities feel like they are not part of this country. Think about it. For the second example, comparisons. Our Indian society is amazing at comparisons, guys. I mean, we've heard about the Sharma Ji Ka Ladka a lot. Guys, we are not in a race. We are not in a cultural or a financial race today. But we feel like we are in. Be it comparison regarding your grades or your salary, the Indian society has a set bar for every individual. Every individual has their own path and track in life. Do not follow people like herds. We are not in a rat race. I mean, <laughs> why train a fish? To climb a tree. We need to be more open to uh, our younger generation. We need to support them and be aware about their potential because you know what our education system, the, the kind of studies, the academic environment our kids are in today in school makes them prepared for nothing. For nothing. Really for nothing. I mean we get to learn a lot about the English language, about the Hindi literature, about a lot of subjects that is being taught to us in our schools but we lose our self-awareness over the year. We need to talk about self-esteem, we need to talk about self-awareness, we need to talk about the psychological problems that everyone is facing today. We need to work with our children not only on the, not only on the moral compass but also over a bigger scale over the self-awareness compass making them aware about their potentials and not beating them up for every mistake that people make. That we as a society, as an Indian society, need to inculcate the boundary ties and we need to be more aware about our surroundings and about our environment. We need to be less cynical about anyone and pass rude comments or anything like that. In Indian society, we have put our younger generation into a rat race as soon as they are born into this earth. We never tell them that happiness matters first and then you need to be successful. We never tell them about what successful, what success actually means. Whether it is your financial success, whether it is developing your intellect, whether it is getting good physique, whether it is doing good in studies. We never actually define what success means and we keep making our younger generation chase success in a way that it is an unending train that is going round and round in a vicious circle. If you've liked this video, subscribe to my channel Aesthetically Correct. Share this video to more number of people to spread awareness about the Indian society and what's happening in today's current state. Thank you. Thanks a lot.